If you're looking for hip pain relief and you're trying to stretch your IT band or your TFL or your glute min, glute med area, this whole area here, then this video is going to help you out. I'm going to show you a great way to stretch your outer hip to relieve your hip pain in a way that you just don't see. A lot of times people talk about stretching your IT band by doing stuff like a pigeon where you're down on the floor or you're in what's called hip flexion. Even one of my most popular videos that shows you how to stretch your outer hip shows you how to do that with hip flexion. But if you're a runner, if you're a soccer player, if you're any kind of athlete that requires you to be standing and doing stuff, then you also want to be able to stretch these muscles when your hip is in extension. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video so that you can get more hip mobility, improve your hip mobility, get hip pain relief and just feel more comfortable on a daily basis. So if you're ready, let's get ready to think right, move right, and feel right. When you look up IT band stretches on YouTube, you'll often find stretches that have you in hip flexion, meaning you'll be doing something where the knee is coming closer to the chest. So for example, you might find a pretzel stretch like this, which is going to stretch the outer hip, but not really get the TFL and the IT band when they're really stretched out, which is when you're in hip extension. You might also find something like a pigeon stretch or a 90-90 stretch where you're coming over like this, but again, it's hip flexion. And you might find pigeon variations where you're lying on your back like this, maybe pulling over or doing this. Either way, you're still in hip flexion. So we need to find a way to stretch out the hip when it's in extension like this and then get the, the thigh to actually go towards the midline. So I have a stretch that'll help you do that. This is an exercise that I'm adding into the Healthy Hips program with the update that I'm doing in 2024. So if you do get the Healthy Hips program or you already have it, it will be added to the program shortly. But I am posting it here to YouTube because I think it is that important. So let's get ready to do it right now. For this outer hip stretch, you're going to need a sturdy piece of furniture or a counter that you can lean on. You're going to take your back leg, bring it out to the side, and then you're going to be dropping your hip down towards the floor and you're going to get a stretch in the outer hip and a little bit in the side. To make this more comfortable for your foot, you can either use a cushion like so, or you can use a foam roller and put your shin against it. This is a really nice trick because it allows you to also roll and reposition your legs so you can go further and deeper into the stretch when you feel more comfortable. Any one of these options will work. I prefer using the foam roller because it gives me a lot of options and a good amount of comfort. All right, so hopefully those instructions are nice and clear. We're gonna now do a follow along workout. You and I are gonna stretch your outer hips right now together, 90 seconds on each side. If you do have a pad you can use or a foam roller, go grab it. Otherwise, you can just do it without. All right, here we go. So let's get ready to stretch your outer hip. You're gonna take one leg, reach behind and out like this. You're gonna be leaning onto a surface here. Put some padding under your foot to make it more comfortable or use a foam roller. I'll show you in a second. Alrighty, so we're dropping the hip down towards the floor. You can reposition yourself, twist a little bit, turn a little bit. Figure out what feels good. Get that stretch through the side, stretch along the outer hip. The foam roller gives you some nice movement and positioning options. It's a lot more comfortable on the side of your foot. Play around with a little bit of pelvic movement, so a little forward, a little back, tilting, anterior, posterior. If your shoulder ever needs a rest, take a rest. Just find those positions that give you that stretch. You might even feel it go up to the ribs sometimes. If you're really stiff through your side abs. Never go into any sort of pain in your back, no pinching or jamming. 
And certainly no pinching and jamming in the hip. All right, let's take a rest. Get ready to switch sides. Weight on there. And then you just put your shin on that foam roller. And let's go. So feeling that stretch in the outer hip. You can play around. You can flex at the hips. Like you're hinging over. You can Twist your body a little more. Just stay within a range that feels doable, that feels safe. You don't want to feel like you're pushing to something that's going to hurt you. Just remember that slow is safe and fast is foolish. Get a nice stretch on that outer hip. Twist around. Play around with pelvic tilts. Don't ever force your spine into any position that feels really bad. Make sure you always feel supported enough that it feels safe. Nice work. So how did that stretch feel and how do your hips feel right now? Drop me a comment down below and be sure to bookmark this video and come back and comment and let me know how it feels after you've been doing this stretch consistently for two weeks. Now, of course, you might be wondering, hmm, how often should I do this? And the answer is as much as you feel you can tolerate. When you first start, I suggest doing it two to four times a week for two rounds on each side plus a third round for the stiffer side. I would start off in the first week just doing it on like Monday and Thursday or Tuesday and Saturday. Just give yourself a little bit of time in between. And then in that next week, you can bump it up. You might try doing it four times that week or five times that week. You might try doing it a little bit more. Just see how it feels. If it feels like, oh man, my hips are like really sore after doing that, then give yourself a little rest and time to adapt and acclimate to this new stimulus. But then over time you might find, wow, yeah, it really feels is good if I do this every day at lunchtime because I've been sitting in a chair all day and whew, this really opens things up. You're just going to have to decide for yourself what the right dose is and what feels good for your hips. Hopefully you feel like your hips are a bit looser now and that that stretch really felt good for your IT band and your TFL. Now, I want you to remember that stretching alone isn't how you fix all of your hip pain forever. You can overstretch, you can be too weak, and so that's why I say you need to have strength at every length. So yes, you need to stretch this out, but remember that you also need strength in your outer hips. I have a video that'll help you make your outer hips a bit stronger. I'm gonna drop a link down in the description box. It's gonna be about hip pain, sleeping on your side. There's gonna be a couple different exercises that help build up that strength in a balanced way. And if you want more videos in a complete program to help you rebuild your hips at home, go to uprighthealth.com slash DIY and check out the Healthy Hips program. And if you're not ready for that, maybe you just want to see what your body needs to get better. Maybe you want to learn the basics of rebuilding your body. Then go to uprighthealth.com slash BRB and get the free program. It's a free course to teach you all the pitfalls, all the myths, all the realities of rebuilding your body at home on your own without all that negativity from doctors and physical therapists. It's a free program. It also includes six free workouts to help you rebuild your body. So go check that out at uprighthealth.com slash BRB. And if you want more free videos to help you rebuild your hips for free here on YouTube, be sure to check these out here or here. I don't know which side they show up on. Like, share, and subscribe with the bell notification on. And as always, I hope you remember that pain sucks. Life shouldn't.